Hi everybody. I got my hands on the new Marvel game yesterday. I thought, let me do a quick first impressions video for you guys. Game launched yesterday on Android, iOS, and Steam. It's been in open data for a while, but officially released yesterday. Marvel Snap, it's called. As a card gamer and a Marvel game, Marvel fan as well. A little bit about me. I've been playing uh, Magic: The Gathering for. Recently switched over to Legends of Runeterra. Fantastic, fantastic game from Bright. And uh, I've been started playing that recently. I've been playing quite competitively, reach masters rank. So this channel focuses on Legends of Runeterra. So hit that like and subscribe. More content. But for now, let's jump into uh, Marvel Snap. Okay, this is the main page. So, in terms of uh, interface and production, pretty well laid out. I mean, the first thing that jumps out to me is that the game is locked in uh, vertical orientation. Now, to me, that immediately shouts out that the game will be focused on mobile users, which in turn shouts out maybe it's going to be focused on casual players. But we'll, we'll wait and see. Um, the music. I like the music, quite vibrant, quite enjoyable. Sets a good vibrant vibe. Some might think it's cheesy, but I mean, that's personal opinion. The interface is well laid out, touchscreen friendly, lots to click on, but uh, at the same time, it's not too cluttered. There are a hundred different in game currencies, which, which is the trend these days, so I'm not going to go too much detail into the trend. So let's move on to the cards card building there we go so the game releases with 150 cards fair starting size I, I think and at game start you're provided with a 12 card deck you heard that right guys there's only 12 cards in the deck seems very low <laughs> no duplicates allowed as well but yeah I, the, again point to you that this might be a casual type of game um, so I've unlocked a few few extra cards since I started playing, so a few more than 12 cards here, obviously. Uh, let's take a look at one of the cards there. There we go. So the blue number on the top left is the card's uh, cost. The top orange is the card's power. I'll, I'll take, you, take you over through a quick gameplay later, so you don't need to concentrate on that too much. Okay, the artwork to me is decent, but I don't know guys, I picked a bit more from a multi-million dollar franchise like Marvel. There's also alternate artwork available for purchase, but uh, yeah, that alternative artwork, uh, not my cup of tea, but I can see why fans might, uh, might enjoy this. This is called a variant, so it's um, alternate artwork available for purchase. Should be available in all the cards. It doesn't appeal to me too much, guys, but comic book fans will probably love this. It's uh, card games normally have normally have a category system. Usually, cards are divided into common, uncommon, rare categories. Small step, interestingly, takes a different take on this. The card categories in Marvel do not indicate card power or card rarity or anything like that. Instead, it refers to the aesthetic levels, level of the cards. So you can upgrade a card to uncommon. Let me see. I'm just going to add a filter in here. Quality. So you'll see this is a common card. It has a little white. It has a white border. No no special effects an upgrade to that would be a this is an uncommon card so yeah you j all it does is break the frame so it kind of sticks out of the frame a little bit more green border indicates that it's an uncommon card and one step out from that these are your rare cards with the blue flame if i move it around a bit you can see a bit of a 3d effect on that so the next step up from this is Epic. I haven't upgraded the card to Epic as yet, but apparently Epic cards, they have um, 
animation effects there we go so there's seven different level guys all the way up to infinite so common uncommon rare epic I'm not sure what's after that <laughs> so the in the highest level is epic so these cards we can upgrade using currency it's all it's all in the user's hands you don't get cards that are strictly um, set to a certain level you can upgrade it from common to rare to epic to whatever you like and then once you fully upgraded a card you can start upgrading the variants <laughs> you can see that the possibilities are endless in this game so that leads us on to whether this game is free to play pay to win this is of course very controversial topic electronic card games have a bad reputation for being notoriously expensive for no reason however this is changing recently in my opinion uh, this game so far seems fairly free to play how does it, how does this game aim to make money seems to me that the focus is on aesthetics seems to be an endless scope for upgrading cards they want uh, they expect people to want to upgrade cards by go quickly to the variant section you can see some of the variants you can buy this is why you spend your money in the game you can buy buy variants of existing cards so it's basically just alternate artwork i'm not sure why anyone would want to buy this pixelated <laughs> reducer but some guys might So in fact, I could not find many options to actually buy cards in this deck. And the only one that I could find was Captain America. Actually, no, this was a variant as well. So interesting. Not much ways to buy cards, right? Eh? Which is a good thing. Um, hopefully this means that if this is the case, then this is certainly a free-to-play game. Not sure if it's grind to win though. It doesn't feel that way though. It seems like the card gives out quite a few cards, and the fact that the games are very quick, very quick to play. I'm gonna go into a gameplay example now, just to give you give you guys an idea of how quick the games run. Quickly. So I'm not sure if I'm playing against bots or, or not yet guys, it, it definitely feels like I'm playing it, I haven't lost the game as yet. So here's the idea of the game guys, so in turn 1 you have one resource, I'm not sure what the word is called. So you can, you can spend it on your cost, you have three different locations. And if you look and as the game goes along it un uncovers different, uh, each region has a different ability. So the first one, Dream Dimension, turn 5 cards will cost 1 more, so that there's 6 turns in the game, turn 5 comes out, that will that will be something to think about. So I've got my little 1 cost guy, I'm going to put it down here. So you need to win at least 2 out of those 3 regions to win the match. So basically the way you win is the guy with the highest power on there wins it. Oh damn, he's, he's got lucky there. His raccoon gets... If the opponent reveals the card. <laughs> but the other thing that's very interesting about this game is you can... you reveal cards at the same time. So you play a card, your opponent plays a card and they reveal at the same time. So, oh jeez, I've got nothing to play this round, so I'm forced to enter. Not looking good, guys. Okay, turn 6 playing cards can't be played on here, so I'm gonna enter. That's pretty weird. <laughs> I'm gonna drop Mr. Fantastic in the center, he gives additional power to the two sides. So it is. So now I'm waiting for my opponent, he plays with the card and it's revealed at the same time. Really, is this going to be <laughs> the first game that I lose when I'm recording? Uh, that's such a life. 
Okay, Medusa pretty handy, but also... I'm gonna play Jessica down here. Off the turn, but... Turn five, my guys cost more. So I'm thinking I'm gonna give up the first region then. Oh, let's see how this goes. Okay, that's a mistake from him. Where's it go? Oh no. So I think I'm going to win the middle one, let's see. I have to go for the... So if he drops Hulk on there, he's gonna get 12 and he's going to win. Don't seem to have a choice though. Four... Yeah, I guess that I have to drop this there and wait hope for the best guys. You're kidding me, I won that. That's, that's what I'm saying guys, I think I'm playing against but 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 yeah, that's uh that's what the game feels like. At this stage it's pretty easy, I should not have won that game. So there we go, we can uh, upgrade Jessica. This will help. I think this will break the frame. Frame break. So she just gets a bit bigger. <laughs> so that's an example of a game, guys. As you can see, pretty quick gameplay. And just a few things I'd like uh, to talk about. Yeah, it's too early to tell, but I think it seems to be aimed at the moment. I don't see the scope for a truly competitive or esports scene. Uh, there is a rank system in place. Go and look where do you find it? Um, yeah, season pass, nope. Should be here, here we go. So this is your ranked ranked uh we start off as a crew to upgrade to agent until you reach iron. I think up until iron you have all pretty much uh bot games and it progresses quite far up to diamond to Vibranium, to Omega, Galactic, highest level is infinite, so there is a rank system in place, but um, as far as esports or competitive scene, I don't really see see that happening when you have a 12 card deck. It's evolving when you only have 12 cards in your deck. Balancing is another important point. Uh, I actively will developers apply NAS and Buffs. Hopefully you don't have metas dominated by one or two dominant decks. Uh, we'll wait and see how that goes. Too early to tell, guys. So in summary, guys, this was I enjoyed this game. To me, it's 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 not going to compete with the deeper, more strategic card games that I play. This is a game I'll pick up, have a few quick games. You know, I. I the, the strategy is it's quite interesting. It's a little bit of a mind game going on, which which I quite like. Uh, some might say it's a luck game, but I think it's more of a... I mean, poker is a, it depends on the luck of the draw sometimes, but it takes skill as well, you know. I think the same thing could apply to this game. 
Yeah, so, in summary, I think it's a good game for old school Marvel fans or love this game, especially the old school artwork, the comics, and you know, you can, they're gonna spend a lot of money getting more cards, upgrading the cards. I think it misses the mark a bit with the with the newer Marvel audience, though. I think more flashy animations, graphics, it could be what. This so yeah, that's my verdict, guys. For uh, we wanna try something new, nice quick game, games free. Go out and give it a try, guys. You might love it. Um, that's yeah. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Take care, friends, and don't forget hit that like and subscribe. Bye.